Hey guys, it's Steven Slate, and I am once again happy to be announcing the release of two new Slate Digital compressors. It's the FG116 Blue Vintage and Blue Modern FET compressors. Now the FET style of compressors, perhaps the most famous type of studio compressor, and they made several revisions of them, but the original Rev A Blue series is probably the most sought after because it just has this very musical and rich tone. It's filled with harmonics and nonlinear colorations, and it just sounds really great. Uh, after a long search, we modeled two of these amazing vintage compressors, and we actually put them on one module via a circuit switch, and each has a very unique and colorful tone that you're, you're going to hear in just a second. Then we decided to have some fun and do a custom modern modded version of the classic FET circuit. So the blue modern edition is like no other FET compressor you've ever heard because we cleaned up the circuit path in an extremely hi-fi and, and modern way. And we decoupled the attack so we could slow it down because you know the attack on these compressors went from fast to fastest. So we slowed it down so you can actually make this really open sounding and punchy, it's, it's really great. And the modern has also two unique circuit paths. So you can choose between two very audible unique tones and both the vintage and modern add extremely useful new features that the hardware does not have which is a high pass sidechain filter and a parallel mix knob so anyway enough chatter let's hear them okay so for the first audio example we're going to hear the fg116 vintage blue on a lead vocal this is probably one of my favorite lead vocal compressors on just about any kind of material and with circuit one on the blue, especially because this models the classic blue series mid forward sound. You know, it has this kind of thing where it takes the mid range of the audio and really brings it forward in a musical and colorful way. Now, we'll get to the reason why I also have the black version here in a second. But first, I want to play this mix with the lead vocal having no compression on it. So here that is. So obviously in the mix, vocal is certainly not cutting it. You really just can't hear it well enough. Let's solo it. I'm going to bypass the sends. Let's take a listen to it. Again, no compression. Well, tell me whatever happened to forever. Tell me you still can't picture. So it's recorded without any compression at all it's very dynamic so that's actually why i start off with the black here so we have our fg73 preamp and then i put the black on here the fg116 black now why did i do that i did that because this is actually a newer revision of the classic fet compressor and it's a little bit flatter than the blue series and i like to use it as a general leveler because what i want to start off by doing to this vocal is giving it a slight compression we're going to compress somewhere around 5 to 7 db and just just to kind of thicken it up a little bit without adding too much color. Uh, so this is still a colorful compressor, but it's not as attitude-y as the blue, as, you, as you're about to hear. So we'll put that on. I'll tell you my settings here. Uh, throughout this tutorial, you're going to see something. You're going to see the release fastest. Why is that the case? Because when you put the release as fast as possible, which is seven on these compressors, it has this amazing trademark aggressive sound that pops everything into the front of the mix. I mean, I know a lot of engineers who just keep the release on the fastest setting because it's just so musical. I almost always use it here. I know a lot of engineers like Chris Algae, Jay Baumgartner, every one of their FET compressors is set with the release fastest because that just is that trademark sound. Now, sometimes, don't get me wrong, I'll, I'll slow it down and you can get some cool mellow tones. But for the most part, if you keep this thing at the fastest setting, you get some really great tones. Now the attack on these compressors is famous for going from fast to fast. So even on the slowest setting, it's still a really fast compressor. Uh, when you put it all the way to the right here, it is just gonna obliterate the transient. So for this leveler, we're gonna keep it on the slowest attack, the fastest release. So we have that in there, let's take a listen. Well tell me whatever happened to forever Tell me you still can't picture 
So already with this initial compression, you know, we're kind of simulating a tracking compressor. Okay, so this is kind of what I'd expect to hear a vocal that was tracked with a little bit of compression because you, you don't want to really over compress the vocal to tape. So this is kind of the setting I would use on a hardware FET compressor if I was tracking the vocal. And you can see just because of this, this fast release, it's already bringing most of those words to the front and it's setting the stage for a nice vocal sound. Then we have the FGN EQ, not doing too much, a little bit off from the top. It's got uh, a little bit of the filter. Then we have the custom series EQ, knocking out some of that 4K, adding some 200 for some beef, again, filtering out some of the low end rumble. And now we have the FG116 Vintage Blue. We have, again, release fastest setting. We have circuit one. We have the attack at nine o'clock. This is a setting that my good buddy CLA uh, uses a lot and it works really well. So let's engage that and take a listen to the vocal. Well, tell me whatever happened to forever. Tell me you still can't picture me and you together. Well, tell me whatever happened to forever. Tell me you still can't picture. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, that sounds a little bit over compressed, but wait till you hear it in the mix. I mean, because with this compression now you can hear every single little word and again that that classic forward mid-range character is brought out with the blue edition here so check it out in the full mix both compressors There you go. Now the vocal is sitting so well. You can hear every little nuance about it. Again, you can really hear why the FG116 Blue Edition is the perfect vocal compressor. So another very famous application of the classic FET compressor is on drum groups and especially drum room mics. The reason so many people like it on drum room mics is because it makes them sound so much more exciting and explosive and it, and it gives the overall drum kit more depth and bigness. So first we're going to take a listen to a mono drum room mic without any compression. Here we go. Okay, so now we're going to put the compressor on. We're going to start with the attack slowest. The release is the fastest. We have circuit one, but in a second, we're actually going to compare circuit one and two. But first, let's start off with circuit one. I'll start increasing the input and let's get these room mics to start exploding. So you can already hear that trademark kind of explosive sound. But now let's do a comparison between circuit one and circuit two. So let's just remind you that circuit one is going to have that more mid forward, mid range articulation. But circuit two was a refurbished unit and I loved the low end. This thing had a, you know, a smoother mid range than the compressor from circuit one, but it had this really awesome low end. So let's take a listen. In fact, let's start off on one, then I'll switch it to two for you to hear the difference. I love that big bloomy low end on circuit two. It really fits this room mic nicely. So now just, you know, before I move on to the high pass, cause we're gonna get to that in a second, I wanna show you what happens when we do attenuate or decrease this release a bit. Watch how much more mellow it immediately gets. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it doesn't take much. As soon as you start to slow this release down, that really awesome aggressive behavior just kind of goes away. And that could be cool for some things, don't get me wrong. But for this room mic, we want it fast. Here we go again. That's the tone we're looking for. So now this high pass, this is a high pass in the side chain. Now this is a really cool new feature that we added to the FG116 Blue Editions. 
and it is going to high pass some of the signal out of the compression side chain so the compression is not going to react to all that low end and that's going to add more bigness on the lows and really make this kick drum sound huge here we go already a big difference now we might be over compressing a little bit so the cool thing about that is with the fg116 series in fact all of them including the old black one we have a parallel mix knob so we can blend the perfect amount of compression with the dry signal with this type of aggressive compressor this is such a useful feature in fact i use this mix knob with this compressor all the time. Even when I used to use the hardware units, I would always use it on a malt or a copy and I would blend the wet signal and the dry signal. It's a much more creative way to use this compressor. So let's try that. That's a, a nice blend right around 62%. Let's do a final AB here. Pretty boring without the compression, I would say. Okay, now it's time to introduce you to the FG116 Blue Modern Edition. Now, to remind you, the Modern has some really cool updates to this classic circuit. For one thing is we cleaned up the output section. Uh, the output transformer is not nearly going to saturate like the old one. But more importantly, we slowed down the attack time. We decoupled the attack from the release and we slowed it down because remember on the vintage unit, even with the attack at the slowest setting, it's still really fast and it's still going to clobber down on your transients. Not so with the modern. This attack is nice and slow. It really lets in the transient. Uh, it also has two unique circuits. You can kind of say that these circuits are somewhat similar to the vintage in that one is going to have a little bit more mid-range articulation, two is going to be uh, a little smoother in the mids with a little bit bigger lows, but ultimately, you know, they're, they're still very unique and you'll have to play around with it. But for a comparison, let's do this. I'm going to put it on circuit two. I'll put the high pass in. We'll kind of recreate the settings that we have here with the vintage somewhere around there. And uh, for this comparison, I'll put the mix knob back to 100%. So check this out. Using VMR solo feature, let's do a comparison on roughly the same settings of the vintage versus modern. Wait till you hear the unique tones you can get. So obviously there's a huge difference here. I mean, the modern is so much more punchy, more hi-fi. It's more linear in the top end. You know, it's almost like going from old school to new school. So I love putting the modern on so many different types of productions. I mean, I love it on rock stuff. I love it on electronic music. It just sounds so great. But then when I want that cool vintage tone and I don't need all that transient, I don't need that hi-fi sound. I want more of that harmonic kind of distortion type of tone. I love the vintage. So these are really great processors and you can hear they sound really great. Let's do a, a final AB of the modern versus what we started out with. Huge difference. I really love this processor. So let's continue with the FG116 Blue Modern. This time we're on a close snare drum mic. Now, some of you experienced engineers out there might be thinking that this might not be a good idea because not many people like to use the FET style compressors on close drum mics because again, the attack is so fast, it tends to clobber down the punch. But not so with the FG116 Blue Modern. Because we have that super slow attack time, we can let all of that great punch in and with that aggressive release, we can extend the decay. Let's first take a listen to this snare drum with just the FG and EQ, but no compression. So it sounds good, but what we want to do is we want to extend that decay, that sustain, and make it even bigger so it'll really pop out of the mix, but keep that punch. We have the circuit path one on. Now, uh, again, that's going to be, you know, a little bit more articulate in the mid-range and a little bit more punchy in the mid-range. 
And we have one of my favorite settings, slowest attack, fastest release. Here we go, let's start compressing. And that's sounding pretty good. Let's just do a quick A-B right there. I mean, the snare sounds really huge with the compression on. I mean, this is a fantastic close mic drum compressor because we're keeping a lot of that punch, but we're just making the middle and the, the end of the sound so much bigger. One more time. And if we want to get real clever, again, using the mix knob, we can kind of over compress. So I'll push it even more. I'll push our output down and I'll blend back some of the mix knob. Really, really cool on close mic drums. So for this final example, I'm going to show you once again the FG116 Blue Modern Edition on an instrument that is not typically associated uh, with a good match for the classic vintage FET compressor. And that's acoustic guitar. Now, you know, typically you'd think that the classic, you know, FET compressor would just be too aggressive for an acoustic. Acoustic in, in general is a very hard instrument to compress because it's very easy for it to sound over compressed. Now part of the reason that happens is because once you start strumming some low notes and that low frequency comes out, the compressor starts to really overreact and starts to clamp down on some of the upper mid-range. So we're going to use the FG Modern and we're going to, you know, especially use two cool features. One is the high pass and that's going to solve the first problem which is some of those lower strum notes are not going to trigger too much compression. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to use the mix knob to blend a nice compression into the dry signal. So the whole point of compressing an acoustic is because we want it to stand out in the mix. You know, sometimes if you don't compress it, you're, you're overly, you know, playing with the automation too much and it can get a little bit difficult. Whereas if you get a nice compression tone, it can sit in the mix better. Uh, once again, no surprise, we're going to my favorite attack and release settings. Uh, attack slowest, release is on the fastest setting, and let's first take a listen to it with no compression. The compressor is off. Okay, so let's turn the compressor on. The first thing I'm going to do is raise the input and we will hear what is going to sound at first like some over compression, but then we're going to tailor that, that compression sound with the high pass and the mix knob. So bear with me. Here we go. So that's kind of over compressed and you can clearly hear how the low end strings are really kind of clamping down on the compression and making it sound a bit more, you know, a bit too overcooked. Now watch what happens. First thing we're going to do is put the high pass in. Take a listen now. Okay, so that already fixed problem one. Now that, that low end isn't making the compressor overreact. So now let's do the final step, which is we're gonna blend the wet and dry sound with the mix knob and get the ultimate final acoustic compressed sound. And I absolutely love that. Again, the compression is really making all the strings pop to the front. You know, again, that aggressive release really makes everything more, you know, forward sounding in a really musical way. Let's do a final A-B. So much more laid back without the compression, definitely going to have a, a harder time popping it out of the mix. 
So that is the introduction of the FG116 Blue Modern and Vintage. These are two amazing compressors, and between all the features, the different circuits, you're gonna be able to get a lot of amazing compression tones. So that's it for me, and as usual, happy mixing.